So we have the first day of the NBA and we had Charles Barkley being very, very aggressive and confronted Adam Silver. Those that don't know, he is the commissioner of the NBA and it was about domestic violence and he wanted to know, yo, what is you, what are you guys doing? Now, I have mixed feelings with this, not because, well, here we go, not because of what he said. I definitely never hit a woman a day in my life. I do not condone it. I had um stepmom, basically someone real close to me that end up dying with domestic abuse. So I do not uh, tolerate it. But I give y'all my thoughts after this. So we're going to play it. It's only one minute. We're going to come back to it. In the NBA right now, what are we doing to address that? Because that is a, you can't put your hands on women, man. And we should be at the forefront in sports when the men hit women. So what are we as a league going to do about that? Well, again, you know, I, I, that's an area where we're not looking to compete against other leagues when you say forefront. So I think all the leagues are trying to address this issue. But I know, again, our, our, our Players Association, credit to them, this wasn't adversarial. We put in place a new program for how we deal with, uh, it, first of all, accusations of domestic violence even before they're prosecuted. Part of it goes to training of our players, uh, counseling of our players to make sure they understand during high stress situations that like obviously never resort to violence against anyone. And so we're addressing it. We have, you know, state of the art uh, counseling professionals dealing with our players. But of course, and if a guy, you know, does cross the line, the consequences are enormous. So y'all heard what Adam Silver said. My problem is not the question is the person that asked it, because as of right now, he's targeting the young man that was planned for Houston to end up allegedly hitting his girlfriend, who is a ex WNBA player and it looked like he's about to be out the lead because as soon as they traded him the other team waved him is it Porter I don't want to say the wrong name at all let me know um my man name I can't think of it off the top so my thing is with Charles Barkley the thing with Charles Barkley is you have your demons and you have your things that you have done in the past so for example DUI, when you get DUI or whatever it is. Now, I believe it was that 2008. I don't believe he was in the league, but let's say if he was in the league, do you handle domestic violence higher than you handle DUI? Because DUI, you can be driving, you can, you can K somebody. I'm not going to say the word because I'm on here. And there's so many other allegations or so many other charges in the NBA. It's interesting that he just decided to speak out about this one. And it looked like the NBA is handling it right because the guy that allegedly just beat on his girlfriend, he ain't, he ain't playing for the team right now. He don't get a job. So it looked like they are doing everything right. I just believe that was more of a political type of statement for him to say this. It was interesting. Let me know if I'm overthinking it. What is your guy's thoughts about it? I'm a component of holding them accountable but in the nba you're gonna have players do bad things every single month every single day you're gonna have dumb stuff we've seen the john morant situation but do you completely just ban them out do you give them another chance how do you do it because you look at baseball like he said i want to compare you look at baseball i can name a lot of domestic violent cases and a lot of other cases that happen in baseball and players still played in the nfl we know Jerry Jones is going to bring all the criminals to his team. So I don't know. What's your thoughts about that one? 